posting on social media can be so time consuming. What if I could show you a way that you could schedule out your post for 30 days or 60 days and do it all in one day? Would you be interested? Stick around and I'll show you how. Hi, my name is Vanessa and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I teach you how you can create an income generating business using, for affiliate marketing using YouTube for your business. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you'll be notified every Tuesday and Friday, 9 o'clock a.m. when I upload my new videos. Do that right now. Pause, do it right now, and then let's get started. What I'm going to cover today is I'm going to show you a tool that you can use to schedule your posts and schedule them out ahead of time. So I'm going to tell you what it is, how to set it up, and then how to make a day-to-day -day plan and so you don't have to worry about the rest of the month. The program that I like to use that's my favorite is called Loomly. Loomly is very easy to use, it's very easy to manipulate, and I like how it's appealing um, aesthetically so that I can see I'm very global in what I like to see uh, look at. So I can look at a calendar and see everything that I posted and what it looks like. So this is what you're gonna have your end result. How do you set it up? When you go into Loomly, you can go you go in and you're just gonna set up a new calendar and you can have as many calendars as you want. If you, you can also sign up for different levels of uh, programs. The first one is, uh, I'll show you all the levels in just a moment, but basically the, for the lowest program is the one you would want if you have a small business and it's just you or one other person. But if you start running an agency or something like that, you can grow into it where you have several employees. So I'm just kind of talking to the person that wants the, the schedule just for themselves because I know when you start a new business, you are spending way too much time posting on social media platforms and that's not what's making you business. It's important as part of your business. You need to be posting, you need to be engaging, but that's not the part that's making you the money. So you need to take, take the, uh, use something that's efficient, that's going to help you get it scheduled and then use your time to be doing those other income generating tasks that need to be done. So the first thing you're going to do is create a new calendar. And just go through the steps and you're going to decide where am i going to post so these are the different places that you can post facebook twitter instagram pinterest and linkedin now instagram it's like this on most social media planners instagram does not allow people to post uh, to schedule posts so that um, they just post without you doing anything so the way it works in most scheduled media um, planners is that you would schedule it but then you'll get notified when it's time to post so if you say i want friday morning at nine o'clock my instagram post to be scheduled you'll get a notification on your mobile device if that's where you want to get it and you'll see a button and you just hit it and you post it so it's not you're planning it ahead but you're not scheduling it ahead but which is still better than waiting and trying to remember to post things now you get to post on 10 different platforms and there's only six here you may have a facebook group you want to post in or something like that you might have two twitter accounts um, um, so know that this is not the limit. Uh, the minimum amount is 10. And I know a lot of people like to use it in their different Facebook pages and there's different Facebook groups. So you can schedule those ahead of time. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to just post details. Now you notice it doesn't say, Hey, do you want to post this in Facebook or Twitter or whatever? You're just going to create your post. What is it I want to say? So let's say you want to create a quote and you can create it from here and you just follow the steps. And then after you create the post, then it's going to say, we'll select the different platforms that you want to put it on. So in this example, um, Pinterest and LinkedIn. So you would just click, these are the places that I want to post it. And then you will go in and tweak each one because the picture, the, the image is going to be different for Pinterest than it will be for Facebook. You know that they're different sizes. So this is where you go in and tweak it for your Facebook page, you tweak it for Pinterest. You know, Facebook, you might wanna put some dialogue in there. You might wanna post a paragraph to, to, of something to say that's gonna promote engagement, while on Pinterest, you're not gonna say a lot. You're just gonna have a little short um, excerpt and then have the picture hoping that that will drive the traffic. Same thing with Twitter. It doesn't have as many characters available. So you get to go in and tweak each one. Now, here's an example of LinkedIn. You can go in and tweak it. It's going to have the size. What do you want to say? Do you want to use the same image or do you want to change it up? But at least you've got the same post in your head and you're posting on several platforms at once. 
you always want to set age, age restrictions. Um, that one is in, important. And then when you're finished, you will see where you have everything posted. Now, typically, most people will say I'm posting everything on Tuesday and Friday and it all goes out at once. You don't have to do that. You can have them go to different platforms at different times, but this way you can get a visual after you've got everything posted, you can get a visual and see, wow, I've got everything for the month of January already posted and that it, and it's right there in front of me. You can go back in and edit it. Maybe you were posting in your Facebook group on Tuesday mornings and you're finding that there's more people viewing it maybe on Wednesday um, or a different day or maybe hardly anybody sees it and you want to play around with it and move it around. You can go back and you can edit them. You can also go in and recycle your posts. And that this is the part that is really very, very um, time, it's a time saver, it's a big time saver. So if you have some quotes that you use six months down the road, you wanna use them again, pull them out of your archives and use them again. Most people are not gonna remember what you posted six months ago, especially if it's a positive post. I love the dashboard feature because it's easy to see everything that you want all of your calendars are here. Your um, post overviews are here so you can see what's scheduled, what's been posted. And here, this is stuff that's on the radar. Maybe you're in the middle of um, editing them. They're not quite ready. So it's gonna let you know things that are in process. And here, um, you might have some ideas that you wanna keep track of. So you, you can put them in a folder as, as well. You might have different links that you'd like to put in different posts. Maybe you have a landing page that you use a lot. You can save that and have it right here for you to use. So everything is like a one-stop shop. It's all there and you can take a whole day or take two days and just think about posting, forget everything else, and then you've got it done and you don't have to worry about it. I know people that will, will post six months out. Now you might say, well, yeah, but I might have things I wanna add. You can always add more. You might say, I'm gonna post twice a week and these are my you know, bare minimums that I'm gonna post. And then as I think of things that are more current, I can go in and make a post at my leisure and not feel like I'm being pressured that my posts aren't going up every day. And there you go, here's another way of viewing all your posts if you if you like this view instead of the calendar view and you can see everything, um, where it's at, what the status is. And this is really nice if you have somebody helping you. If you were fortunate enough to hire a virtual assistant to help you, this is a system that will allow both of you to log in. You can work together and see what's there. You can see what your virtual assistant is doing and, you, and they can see what you're requiring. And, and you can go ahead in and check it together right here. Both of you can log in with your own logins. Um, one of the features that Loomly has that a lot of your other social media planners do not have is you can target your audience. So you can go in and set it up and say, this is the age of my audience that I wanna target. This is their interests that I wanna target. And then Loomly will help you do that when you post your different um, social media posts. And there you go again. They also have a library that you can use. Um, they have different images that you can use. They have quotes that are in there and all kinds of tools that you need to help you get started. Yes, you can go off and get them yourself, but they're also in Loomly as well. And that just helps you, especially if you're crushed for time. Hopefully that was a time saver for you. Um, it's easy to set up. You can take a day to plan it. You can take two days if that helps, but everything. I promise you I will show you the features um, and the different pricing levels that Loomly has. You can go in and start a free day free trial, a 15 day free trial. So make sure you start with that. Make sure this is something that you know you can use. But these are the different um, platforms that they have. The the basic one is usually enough for most people. And it is $25 a month if you pay by the year, but two users can use it and you can go on and post on 10 different social accounts. So that's a lot. If you're new, that's more than enough. Now, if you wanna do some advanced analytics and content export, then you wanna move it up to the next level and six users can use it and 20 accounts. And this is when um, people start getting into doing a little bit of agency work where they're um, doing work for others. But if this is something you enjoy, you could pull, get a couple customers and do it for them and make some money as you're building your business freelance. That's what a lot of people do. And as you can see, it goes up, up and up. 
Um, and these are usually for people running large com companies. But definitely um, two users, 10 social accounts at $25 a month if you pay by the year, and it does have a 15-day free trial. Remember, a lot of your social media planners do not allow you to archive your content over a certain amount of time. And if you really want to use these to its fullest extent, then you want to be able to save your post and be able to recycle them and use them again. That is what's going to save you time in the end. And yeah, you can save your stuff in a folder on your desktop, but you know how messy that can get. This is a one-stop shop. Everything's here and it does a great job of helping you save that time. So I just wanted to make sure you saw that. Um, my link is below if you want to go in and look at Loomly um, so that you can go in and get a 15-day free trial to start out up 30 days in advance 60 days in advance and it will stop you from wasting time being on social media too much because i know that is a common error when people are new you're led to believe that you need to be on there all the time and then those other income generating tasks are not getting done they keep getting put off to the side and even though you're doing a great job of posting if you're not selling anything then why are you doing it right um if you're not selling then you're not marketing and you need to spend time with marketing and not just posting and you'll understand that as you go along but hopefully this was helpful if you have a planner that you use and you're very pleased with it and if you want to share um, one that you're interested in or one that you're looking at feel free to share it i can do some um, little bit of i can make a video for you and look into it if you want to compare it because um, there's a lot of them out there but i have been comparing different ones loomly right now is my favorite and it's my go-to thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe put your uh, likes and your hearts and your thumbs up and comments and down below so that we all know that you're um, enjoying the video and i will see you on the next video thanks don't forget to watch the ones that you see right up here